We met with the Prime Minister in regards to adoption and the, um, the pros and the cons of just the whole process. He asked me a few questions in regards to how I found my adoption process really and I just put a few pointers towards to him in regards to where I think it could change to make it easier for prospective adopters and people going through the process right now themselves. One of the suggestions that I made was in regards to when you have to do your family tree um, instead of having to go right back to your parents history it could just be your immediate family because it would make that process for the prospective adopter easier because you know who your brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews are whereas when you've got to, you know, for example my family my mum's got eight siblings, I've got loads of cousins to name all of them, it's just, you know, it became too long so they became numbers rather than names. Um, for anyone out there that's even considering it, even whether it's a fault, my advice is just to really take that fault that step further and make that initial call and just to be as honest as you can be with the person that you initially speak to and really just to go for it because at the end of the day sometimes it can take longer than it should but ultimately when your child comes home Everything that you went through is irrelevant and it, it's just nothing compared to becoming that parent to that child. And it just puts everything into picture of why you had to do what you had to do, why you went through what you went through. It makes it all worthwhile. For me, the best thing about adopting is having my little girl. Ultimately, it's... I couldn't have given birth to a better child. She is has made me complete. She, she's a part of the family and it's, just, it's me and her. We're, we're just the happiest team going. And just for someone that wants to, just all your fears and reservations, just put them behind you because they really do. Once you're holding your child, they really do disappear. And you may think, oh, I won't be able to love that child as much as I love a birth child, but from my perspective, I now question, gosh, if I have a birth child, will I love them as much as I love my first child? Because she is my first child. So I think I just, I just implore anyone to go ahead and adopt if it's something they're thinking about doing.